Hey, good morning. It's Israel Wendy, and um, thank you for joining me this morning for the broadcast. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late, but make sure that you share this out uh, to your followers, and um, uh, I'm part of the Jesus Did It group, so um, check out the um, other broadcasters on uh, just by... Uh, Searching for hashtag uh, Jesus did it and you'll find a bunch of uh, broadcasters that broadcast um, Christian themes, so we're gonna get started doing um, The painting here, so I'll turn things around. Yes, I got my paint smock on this morning I haven't been wearing my paint smock um, basically I took these uh, old um, a uh, pair of uh, flannel pajamas to use as my paint smock. But I haven't been wearing it lately because, uh, yeah, I did get a haircut. See how short it is? I haven't been um, using it lately because uh, it's, you know, kind of hot. So, but this morning it's a little chilly and I'm not feeling too good. So keep me in your prayers. But see, I got my, I got my Jesus covering. So Jesus has got it. He's got it. Jesus is going to make me feel better. It's kind of my um, my own fault for not feeling good because I ate a lot of junk yesterday. I got my car back and I was cruising and eating all kinds of junk. I had a milkshake and I know that I got to stay away from there. But anyway, don't you know that... that um, it's the same way. God does not want us to eat a lot of junk. He doesn't want us watching, you know, dirty movies. He doesn't want us listening to, uh, yeah, see the hat? <laughs> yeah, and on the rim it says uh, about faith. It's, it's a cool hat. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it better this way? <laughs> Anyway, um, God doesn't want us uh, putting a lot of junk into our body. He doesn't want us listening to nasty things and and um, watching nasty things because he wants us to renew our mind. And how do we renew our mind? We read the Bible and we listen to worship music, which we're going to be doing here shortly. So I'm going to turn this around. We're going to get... Um, going on the painting and remember who you are in Christ. You are loved, you are adored, and you are so blessed. You are a child of God and he wants to just lay it on you. He wants to lay on those blessings. So um, let's get going. Um, we're going to uh, have well, welcome to uh, Welcome, welcome to the broadcast. Is this your first time here, Kevin? I think I've seen you here before, but it's been a while. But thank you for the hearts. And like I said, I'm going to turn the camera around uh, so you can see what we're painting. And I cheated a little bit. I drew some straight lines on the um, painting because I can't. I can't um, paint a straight line, and I practiced with the knife uh, this weekend, and it just wasn't working for me. So I decided I'm just going to draw a simple straight line with a ruler on my painting, and then I'll follow along with that with my paintbrush. So yes, today is going to be kind of like paint by number. <laughs> So, hey, you can see my prayer wall in the background there. I got, like, uh, uh, I have a picture frame that has little clothespins on it. And so when you ask for prayer, I stick your prayer up on that wall. And I during the day, I come back to it and I pray for you guys. So I keep you in prayer. So... If you need prayer, my um, in my profile is my email address, and if you are watching on um, Facebook, you can contact me through Facebook Messenger. Um, I'm Israel Wendy on Facebook, so join me, join me. I will pray for you. I love you guys. 
So let me just turn the camera around here. Hopefully I won't get my finger in the, the um, recording. <laughs> but anyway, here is it. And yeah, I got, a, I got a late happy birthday card. And what's cool about it is it's all glitter and shiny. And I like that. Um, actually, I got that birthday card from a friend that uh, sent um, the birthday card to the wrong address because I literally have two addresses. I have the address where I live and the address where I get mail. It's two different addresses. Um, the same place, two different addresses. I'm going to set down my hat. There you can see it a little bit. Jesus is eternity. And it says, unleash the faith and spread it around. Um, and on the back, you can see the little tab. It says, I love Jesus. So sometimes I can wear it around backwards. So today, we're going to make some windmills. And um, I'm using acrylic paint. Um, I'm using number one acrylic paint. Let's get our happy birthday out of the way. Happy, 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 joy, joy, yay! <laughs> happy Monday! Um, so I am going, I want to make these look metallic, so I'm going to be adding this uh, gloss medium. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of out of focus. But it just adds a little shine to your paint. And I'm also using lamp black. Uh, you definitely can't see that. And titanium white. And we're going to make it look kind of silver. So we're going to add, we're going to mix all of these. And meanwhile, um, I am going to get um, the music going. And everywhere I turned yesterday, I heard this song. Um... And this morning I watched, um, uh, oh boy, I can't even remember her name, but she is a broadcaster that is from the UK, and she is a sweetheart. She just simply sings and scopes. She doesn't have any background music. I mean, wow, talk about boldness. I could never do that. I'd ha I have to have music, and a lot of times I have to have words behind me. Oh, wow. And he, you can see my uh, Crayola crayon ones, paintbrushes. They're so short, I, I don't put them in with my other ones. Um, so I am going to pull this a little closer because I can't stretch my arms that far to paint. There we go. That's good. All right, maybe I'll even move it over this way just a little bit and get my water out of the way here. Oops, somebody's mowing the lawn. I wish they'd come mow my lawn. I walked across my lawn the other day and I almost twisted my ankle and I'm like nope I'm gonna hire somebody to paint my lawn so if you know anybody in the area of Hammond Sport that uh, wants to mow an acre of land with a push lawnmower or if they want to help me put my uh, riding lawnmower back together I will pay them <laughs> uh, let's see uh I told you I had a, a a song that I kept hearing all the time. I'm sorry, this is... I had technical difficulties early this morning. That's why I'm so late getting on. I had plenty of time, too, which is, uh, well... I am not finding it. Maybe I don't have that. Well, let's start with any song here. I am just letting the Holy Spirit, and this is called There is a Cloud. And it's Elevation Worship. And of course, I'm still having technical difficulties here.
All right, let's get the painting going here. I'm putting some lamp black. I don't want it too black. I want it bright. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. Make sure you share with your friends. And thank you, thank you for the hearts. And this is Elevation Worship. And this is going to be the biggest of the, I'm probably going to start from the top here. And even when I got a line already started there, I can't draw a straight line. Oh, Jesus, help me. I can draw a straight line. I can draw a straight line. Praise God. I presented my pastor's 
I have actually two pastors that I support. I have a home church that I go to on Tuesdays, and uh, that's with uh, par- m- m- p- yeah, Pastor Mary Hassan. And on Sunday, I go uh, to my regular church, uh, North Urbana Chapel, and that was that's with uh, Pastor Nate Cooper and. I presented them this weekend with uh, some paintings. And it's uh, always good to support those in ministry, in, in, you know, the leaders of the ministry, because they have a tough... Uh, Here's the they have a tough... Uh, load on their shoulders, you know, being leaders in the church. presented uh, my Pastor Mary with a painting. She says, it's amazing how there's a texture to it. I'm getting a smaller detail brush here. One of my better brushes, not one of the... Whoops. For that last uh, windmill there. Because it's going to be, you know, smaller. Start at the top here. Even the smaller brush is not helping me here. Well,
I hear the birds out there. Here's a song that um, I have been hearing all over the place and Every place I went yesterday, I heard the song. Thank you, Rick. Welcome to the broadcast. God bless you. Thanks for sharing, and we're doing some windmills today. Hey, welcome, Cat. I've heard this song like three times yesterday. I was running in and out, going to different grocery stores, and every time I got in the car, it seems like this song was playing. I'm basically letting try uh, letting this dry and getting my paint shirt in the paint, but that's okay. Yesterday I was in the uh, the farm store. And they had these bags of apple. Those are going to be windmills. I'm just letting them dry, though. Because I used a medium to make them look shiny. And it's taken a while for that medium to dry. It's a gloss medium. Because I wanted a silver appearance. Yes, that's an awesome name. I the, I heard this uh, song early this morning um, from another broadcaster, and I wish I could remember her name so I could... Oh, but she's sweet. She's from the UK, and she sings uh, without any accompaniment. But she sang this song, and I just loved it, so I had to look it up. I just love this song, and I never heard it before, even though it's an older song.
Thank you for the hearts. God bless you guys. Guys have probably heard this song before. I'm trying to cover over my lines that I drew ahead of time. Okay, let's put a little turban on the top of the holes here. Maybe we should make them a little bit bigger here. Yeah, they could easily be crosses. I always hide a cross somewhere in my painting. <laughs> Love you too, Cat. I enjoy your broadcast. Make sure everyone follows Cat Ello and her sons, David and Josh. They have awesome scopes. They're a scoping family. <laughs> And she has a, uh, oh, I don't happen to have her CD right here, but she's got a CD out, and it's an awesome. I'm going to have to play some more of her music. I should just uh, save it to my computer. Gotta let that dry again, because I said that gloss um, medium is, takes a while to, this is what it is right here. And you just add that to your paint to get a li nice gloss. Of course, I got a big thing of it.
as we're waiting for the paint to dry, we'll get a little jazzy going on here. <laughs> I don't know why I chose windmills. Maybe because they remind me of the majestic power of the Holy Spirit. The power source that we need to be plugged into. I forgot to finish my story here. I went to uh, the farm place and uh, they had uh, horse treats on sale. Apple and uh, alfalfa. And I says, you know what? My deer would love that. So I got them. And I had them in the trunk of my car because they were like, you know, 40 pounds. And uh, I threw some out into the driveway, and I had the um, I had the uh, Car doors all open. And those deer could not wait. They were right there at the car while I was moving in and out. And they were probably <laughs> not more than 12 feet away from me. And I sat there and I talked to them. And they looked at me and boy, I, that's the closest I've ever been to deer like that. It's crazy. Now the windmills in our area don't have uh, four like this, but I'm making my own style here. They only have three. Me, 
And I still haven't figured out. And they call themselves Owl City. That's kind of a different name. And since this one is farther away, it's a little bit smaller. Well, you really can't see the one that's right along there. Maybe we should off-center it just a tiny bit there. So that means we'll off-center this one a little bit. You should take a screenshot of that. <laughs> That's
course, the painting's not finished without a, a cross in there. So I'll move over onto that side there. Put a nice cross in here. Yes, he does. How true is that? He makes me brave. Sometimes when you use a stiffer brush, it literally takes the paint off while you're trying to put the paint on. Good morning. How are you, Jason? We're doing windmills here. <laughs> They're not quite like the ones in our area because the ones in our area um, have only three instead of the four. But um, I just did that because those are my own. Um, yeah, three in my area, too. But I added four just to... Because I didn't quite know the angle for the three. So we're just adding a little cross here. Because every one of my paintings I put a cross in. No matter if you see it or not. One of my favorite artists, Darlene Sheck. I've actually met her in person. Thank you for your invites, Jason.
And of course, I'm putting my highlights and my lowlights on the cross here. Make it look like wood, you know. Of course, I got a little of the gloss in it, so <laughs> it's going to be shiny, but... I hope you guys had a nice weekend. I had a little uh, creative miracle going on in my gas tank all weekend. I was bebopping around. I even uh, drove uh, 20 miles um, to go to the movies, and then I came back, and I actually had more gas, according to the gauge, than when I started. And... Uh, I know the gas gauge is not broke. It's not that. I gotta fold my newspaper down here. It keeps I'm using one of my plastic trays here for the paint. We'll just put a little highlight on her. Make it look like it's glinting metal there. Yes, praise God. Well, number one, I had these terrible scratches all along the side of my car. Um, apparently... The undercoat of my car is white, and it's got the metallic uh, red. And I asked the um, dealer about buffing it out, and he said, well, it'll cost you, you know, a couple hundred dollars. And the f I let somebody borrow my car, because I was in a hard place, and... Um, didn't have a vehicle and a friend of mine let me borrow her brand new car and so I kind of wanted to pay back you know so um because it's not my car it's it's God's you know and so I let this guy that uh, had a, a long um my friend uh, and Pastor Mary Hassan has to was bringing this guy back and forth to work, and it was a big hardship on her. So I said to her, "Well, why don't you just let him borrow my car?" And she's like, "Oh my gosh, you hardly know this guy." And I said, "Well, I, you know, I don't know him, but God does." So she was really and. Um, so when he returned the car, he returned it with uh, 
all the scratches buffed out of the paint and everything. I mean, it was incredible. So, you know, God um, rewarded my obedience. You like this song? This is Word of God Speak by Mercy Me. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. How you doing this morning, Jerry? Oh, Rick, your voice would be awesome with this song. I'm surprised that you're not picked up by some big recording studio because you have an awesome voice. That was uh, awesome how you did that on Busker. And I'm just putting the little highlights. Like the sun is... Uh, kind of glinting off the metal, you know? No, I don't need any more technical difficulties here. I like to download my music with uh, a program called Hyper, because you can download it in multiple different um, formats without commercials off of uh, YouTube. And... Um, it was giving me problems this morning. It didn't want to download a song that I wanted. <laughs> this is a group called House Fires. Good morning, Jacqueline. Are you going to scope later? I gotta turn this this way. Welcome back, Rick. Did you hit a dead zone? <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs>
Yeah, I know. That's sad. Yeah, Josh. Well, you need... He, he's going to be leaving for his uh, mission trip in like two weeks. a little shadow here. I gotta blend that in. It's a little bit too dark of a shadow. <laughs> of a shadow there, but... Thank you for the hearts. You know, on my old phone, the hearts were just a solid color. And on this new phone, the hearts have like a, um, uh, a white border around them. It's so funny. I don't know if it's better graphics or what it is. But I like my new phone. I see now they have the... Uh, Samsung uh, 8 out, S8. Mine's only an S6, but I didn't want to buy the S7. I liked uh, the features that the S6 had. I don't know what happened, but I think I forgot the highlights on this one over here
Yes and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't finish my little cross here. I should have made the cross bigger, but it's kind of late now. Okay. Well, I, that's that for the, the picture. I know the S8. I, the S8 looks cool. It looks like the the um, screen goes all the way around to the side. But I thought about it, and I'd have fingerprints all over it. Cause, but I wanted to leave you guys with uh, something um, that another Christian artist. I'm, and I'm not quite saying that I'm a Christian artist yet, but I am Christian. And I like to paint, but I just want to read, um, and this is from uh, Thomas Kincaid, um, and it's called The Vision of God. Uh, Whether it's a pebble in a, a riverbed or a soaring mountain peak, I see everything in the world as the handiwork of the Lord. When I paint, I try to represent the beauty of God's creation in my art. Many modern paid painters see the world as a jumble of random lines and shapes with no divine beauty or order, and their work reflects their viewpoint. Because I see God's peacefulness, serenity, and contentment, I work to capture those feelings on the canvas. My vision of God defines my vision of the world. In this section of everyday light, um, I'm not going to read that part, but um, later on it says, I don't expect such a dramatic event to happen to you or me during the coming year, though we may never know, do we? But a new vision of God, drawn from using examples from the Bible, can, just, can be just as revolutionary in redirecting your life. It may not produce the change you imagine, but it will help you find your part in God's plan and give you a new divinely directed perspective on everything in your world. So if you um um if you realize that everything is divinely um inspired by God even windmills even windmills even windmills although they were man-made they were divinely inspired by God God is the one that is behind creativity he's behind um a, a lot of the scientific uh, things that people um, discover and God is is the creator and he, um, you know, his plans are above our plans and he knows what uh, we have in store. You know, he knows what. Uh, he knows what's going to happen in our future. So um, I hope you guys go uh, this month. Uh, make sure that you uh, study the word and, and know who you are in Christ. Uh, just remember who you are in Christ. And um, this is a nice little pamphlet. It has, uh, you know, all the Bible verses. I know it's blurry, but, you know, it's, it's who you are in Christ. And, and that's the bottom line. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter um, what your parents tell you, your teachers tell you, your friends tell you. It doesn't matter... Um, what the guy down the street says about you. It's all about 
what God thinks you are. And God loves you. God adores you. And he is so proud of you. He wants to bless you. God does. He wants you reading the word so that you will, I mean, you will become a different person just by reading the word. And I would ask that each of us uh, continue to read the word and press into his presence because we need to plug into the power source. We got to get our windmills going and, and our electric going and our electric source is the Holy Spirit. And in order to connect to the Holy Spirit, we need to be um, reading and, and finding out all that we can about the one that we love, which is Jesus. So God bless you today. Um, thank you for the hearts. Uh, sorry I went kind of long today, but um, it's Monday, and tomorrow is Gospel Day, so I have some uh, new gospel music that I've downloaded. Um, I'm going by the uh, the top uh, 40 that they have for gospel music, and um, so if there's any other gospel music you'd like to... Uh, um, me to play on Gospel Tuesdays, um, you can uh, either uh, email me or message me other ways. So God bless you today, and remember, you are adored. What is that program I use? It's called Hyper for YouTube. It's a pretty awesome program. Um, you can, like, take the videos... Um, that are on YouTube and you can download them in audio form and things like that. It's really easy to use. Um, it's called Hyper, H-Y-P-E-R for YouTube and um, I really love that program. I've been using it for years. Um, so God bless you guys and um, like I said, make sure that you're up you're praying for and you're holding up your leaders in your churches and things because um, a lot of them are coming under discouragement and, and a lot of um, different things. So we need to hold them up. And yes, hold. check out the JesusDidIt.org group. Um, they're a group of broadcasters bringing the news and um, the good news of Jesus Christ uh, to a world of darkness. So God bless you guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. But more importantly, Jesus loves you no matter what. Unconditionally. There's nothing that you have to do to earn his love because he loves you already. Even when you don't love, even when you don't love Jesus. Oh, somebody told you to turn your music down. Well, maybe mine is too loud. I don't know. I don't really know. So God bless you. Have a nice day. God bless you. My goodness.